Hello guys, in this video we will be going to see how we can create an pre-signed URL for an object inside the AWS S3 bucket using Python Boototary. Okay, so before that let's first understand quickly how like what is the use case of uh, pre-signed URL and how uh, like why why would we need this okay so let us suppose you have a file inside the aws s3 bucket so here bucket name is aws master chef hyphen resources and in that i have a file with name fastapi.png and now you wanted to share this file for a limited time with any user okay so now what you will do you will just try to copy the object url and will share it with someone else okay now if that user tries to open this url he will like he or she will get the uh, error as access denied the reason being is this s3 bucket is not publicly accessible to all the all the world right it is only accessible to the uh, like the uh, authorized user basically uh, who has the uh, like login credentials of your aws account right but you don't want to create the login credential you just wanted to share this file only in that scenario pre-signed url comes in the picture what you will do you will just go inside that object action click on share share with a pre-signed url then after aws will ask you for how much time you wanted to provide access then you need to just provide the time let us suppose i will i want to provide the access for one hour and then after you need to click on create pre-signed url okay and now copy it and if i paste it here you will see the file is accessible now right so uh, and this link will only work for one hour and after that this link will gives us the access denied again like the, uh, the this link has expired please try with a new new link kind of thing so that's the use case of this uh, pre-signed url now let's try to create it this pre-signed url from the lambda using python okay so i will go here and i will try to create a new function i will name it as pre-signed url demo and then after we select the python as the runtime and then after create function okay so here i have already created a code which basically uh, used to generate the pre-signed url so first what i am doing is i am just creating an s3 client using boto so here the reason name i am passing and endpoint url i am passing make sure this like this endpoint url is not uh, i think written inside the documentation but uh, issue is if you don't pass it it would not be work the generate pre-signed url would not work so you, we need to pass it and make sure the you replace the correct reason name as per your requirement inside this region name as well inside the endpoint url as well okay so make sure to change it after that we are just named the bucket name and the object key so bucket name in which your resource light lies and the object key is the basically the file name for which you wanted to create pre-signed url in case it is inside any folder so you can just type the folder name and then after slash and then after file name okay so for now it is on root so i would remove this then after we are just uh, calling the generate pre-signed url uh, kind of method and passing three parameter the first one is client method so uh, for now we we wanted to access this file basically from the s3 bucket so we are using cat object in case you wanted to upload any file you will use put object and uh, similarly as well so you can check out the documentation for detail params we are passing the bucket name and the object name then after expires in so expires in basically the time for which you wanted to uh, activate this link and activate the url which you are getting so it is in the seconds so for now we are passing only 10 seconds but you can change it as per your requirement okay and then after i'm just returning it returning the status code and body in the body url basically and in case any exception occur i am just printing out the exception okay so let's copy this and now let's go back to the aws console okay and i will just paste this code okay and i will deploy this now for creating this pre-signed url obviously this lambda function needs access to this aws s3 bucket okay so we will going to provide the uh, like the permission for accessing this aws s3 bucket what i will do i will go inside the configuration section and then after permission tab i will open the role in a new tab and then after i will going to attach the uh, relevant policy which basically gives the permission okay so i will going to add the policy for now let's assign s3 full access like you can but obviously in the production you need you just need to fine grain it as per the requirement and then after yeah it's done so now it has the amazon s3 full access so now we don't need this and just let's try to run this code okay what i will do i will going to test it just make a test event my bad 
and I will going to save it and then after I will test it okay so now you see like the code has been worked successfully so now we got the status code and the URL inside the body so I will going to copy it right and then after if I try to open it in a new tab you would see the request has expired actually the 10 second is very less the reason being is so let's try to make it at least 20 second so that at least we can uh, use it basically right so I will going to test it again and then after I will copy it I just wanted to show you the demo like uh, after the time period ends like this URL will not work so I think this URL will only be activated for 20 seconds but after that if you try to hit like run it again you would get the access denied okay in the similar way like it is the get uh, basically we are fetching it from the DB but let us suppose you wanted to you, you want like uh, allowed any user to upload any resources onto your S3 bucket so you can uh, basically uh, choose the uh, uh, put object you are put object client method in, in place of the get object okay so if I ran it again so we get the request has expired so code access denied okay so in this way we can control the uh, access to our AWS S3 bucket okay so let us suppose in some scenarios like we don't need caching in accessing those files so that's why we are using the S3 pre-signed URL but in case you need caching as well uh, like if uh, you are sharing this uh, this pre-signed URL with multiple users and all of those are accessing from different different location and you want to, to enable caching as well in that scenario you can use the cloud front cache url okay so i will make another video for that uh, but for 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 this video i think that's that's it that's it for this if you have any queries or question you can post it out in the comment section okay thank you